So I've had a few people to email me and say we want to know what you put inside of your cellulite oil, anti-cellulite oil. This is my ginger cellulite oil. Now the bottle, y'all, it I'm repurposing it. I had ordered a cellulite oil, which was in here, a massage oil, but honey, it was very expensive and I understand why. I understand why it's expensive if it has everything in it that you need for you know to for it to have for it to work but I can't I can't buy that because I got all of my ingredients here at the house you already know that right so today I'm going to be talking about the base oils like the carrier oils that you can use for your anti-cellulite oil I'm going to be talking about the essential oils that you can use for your anti-cellulite oil and I'm also going to give you some little optional items that you can put in it that are beneficial however they will help kind of diffuse the scent of the ginger because it's gonna kick off no matter what but it, these other things will kind of mellow it out so if you want to know and get in the know let's go ahead and dig into what's in here and what I've whipped up and researched to help you rid yourself of cellulite but don't get it twisted you will still have to do massages you still will have to do some moving around and exercising and you still will if you got too much lose a little bit in order to smoothen things out you know what i'm saying i'm on that journey as well been doing it for oh my gosh what the last couple of months off and on so you see me lose a few pounds i pick up a few pounds because you know i went through the holiday thing and your girl she's a foodie she loves to eat so i'm not stopping my eating i'm just trying to get more active right now trying to eat better and also you know get it moving absolutely so let's get to whipping this oil up no hesitation no more if you're new subscribe because you don't want to lose this chick let's get to work so talking about these amazing items that i put in this oil Woo! so starting with the actual carrier oils the first one here is macadamia oil and it is famous mainly due to its anti-cellulite properties it strongly elasticizes and firms the skin one of the few oils that is recommended for every type of skin everyone will find something good in macadamia oil it is greasy but it is well absorbed it has a golden color unrefined it has a nutty Older. Now, this macadamia oil is top on my list, and mainly, of course, because of its anti-cellulite properties. So, this one is a great one to add into your anti-cellulite oil if you're mixing it up yourself. Coconut oil is another great oil you can use for cellulite. As a matter of fact, it is highly known for helping to tighten, firm, and moisturize the skin in areas where cellulite is a problem. You can apply it all by itself directly to the skin and just massage it in just like you would a skin cream, moisturizer, or a lotion. Now, sweet almond is always a good choice sweet almond oil it's super moisturizing and it restores shine and improves microcirculation this oil is super gentle light and well absorbing sweet almond oil can soothe irritations and relieve the skin but most importantly why i love it is because this carrier oil is the right one for anti-cellulite treatments when you're mixing up essential oils which would be what you're subsequently going to do with this so i did add in some sweet almond oil to my mix now as an alternative if you don't have any other oils except this particular one which is avocado oil feel free to use it it is definitely one that has some powerful antioxidants in it that works to minimize the signs of aging like wrinkles and fine lines 
and it helps to support the healthy production of new collagen. So when it comes to cellulite, it is not noted that it helps with cellulite, but generally massaging any oil into the skin can definitely help reduce the appearance. So continue to use it if you do have avocado oil because definitely it has fatty acids and oleic acid in it which are great for promoting collagen synthesis. Grapeseed oil is the next one I want to talk about. Now is it known for specifically targeting cellulite? Not necessarily, but it is high in antioxidants and it is known to help increase collagen synthesis and skin elasticity. It is widely used as an astringent because of its ability to help to tighten the skin and also it minimizes pores. Grapeseed oil is also anti-inflammatory and it's high in vitamin F, which is linoleic acid, an essential fatty acid that prevents moisture loss and minimizes scarring, which makes it an amazing natural moisturizer. So feel free to put that in your anti-cellulite mix as one of the base oils if you choose. Let me share something with you about the benefits of argan oil for cellulite. Argan oil for cellulite is highly recommended. It is an excellent oil to fight against cellulite to make fat cells disappear. Argan oil moisturizes the skin, nourishes it, and restructures it. This oil will provide you a drained and nourished skin and will make the risk of cellulite appearance very low by eliminating water, toxins, and fat. Now, using argan oil will help promote fat metabolism through massaging. So that is important if you're going to use an anti-cellulite oil. You just can't rub it on there and let it go. You do have to massage and provide optimal conditions to eliminate cellulite and not see it reappear on your body. So massaging or exercising will definitely help to stimulate the removal of cellulite. And argan oil is definitely a prime candidate to help you on your journey. Now one of the final carrier oils I wanted to talk about is jojoba oil. And jojoba oil is a liquid wax actually, which is derived from the nuts of the jojoba plant. This oil helps to soften the skin and regulate and enhance the production of sebum. It contains antioxidants, which help dispose of toxins from the body and also help to reduce cellulite. So this is another one if you have it on hand, then you can actually put in your anti-cellulite oil here. And now let's move into the actual essential oils. Essential oils are beneficial in any cellulite mixture. So we're going to start with camphor essential oil, which will make you sweat more and you'll lose more of the water weight that your body is holding on to. Then we have cedarwood essential oil. It has natural astringent properties and can be massaged into your skin to tighten the muscles and skin. And it can enhance the quality of your muscle and skin tone, leaving it feeling firmer and reinvigorated. Another great essential oil for cellulite is grapefruit essential oil, which is one of the most popular oils among aromatherapists to treat cellulite. It has detoxifying, slimming, and circulation boosting properties that help reduce cellulite and water retention in the body. Massaging your stomach with grapefruit essential oil may also help reduce belly fat and 
waist circumference. Next, we have eucalyptus essential oil, which will help target fat deposits under the skin, soothing painful cellulite sensations with its anti-inflammatory properties. You can also use lemongrass essential oil, which helps increase the frequency of urination, removing excess water and peeing frequently helps the body get rid of toxins while simultaneously cleaning the kidneys. Now sage essential oil, it is a significant component in the treatment of cellulite and textured skin due to its many beneficial characteristics. It's antioxidant and anti-inflammatory characteristics, which help shield the skin against free radicals that cause interior damage and also smooth out discoloration and bumpy textures. Make it a common ingredient in cosmetic compositions. Sage essential oil treatment helps in reducing fluid retention and is an effective alternative medicine for weight gain issues. Women who are expecting or nursing should not use sage essential oil. We then have the very familiar lemon essential oil with its potent skin protective, antioxidant, and cleansing properties. Using this essential oil in massages is reputed to refresh even out and promote smoothness of the skin, helping to reduce the overall wrinkled and bumpy appearance of cellulite ridden regions. Next up, I want to talk about juniper berry essential oil, which is widely used to reduce water retention and activate tissues and increase metabolism, which helps eliminate cellulite. Applying this oil regularly removes cholesterol, which is one of the main reasons for cellulite development in the body. When this oil is mixed with other essential oils, it works as a good anti-cellulite blend. Now, basil is not just for cooking in the kitchen. Basil essential oil helps reduce cellulite deposits and has purifying effects on the body. We then have rosemary essential oil. Rosemary essential oil is an effective cellulite oil treatment for people who suffer from blood circulation as this oil can fight against lymphatic blockages and helps you fight an easy battle against cellulite. It also drains fluid retention and harmful toxins deposited in the tissues. It even reduces mental fatigue and is a great stimulant for the brain also. Now, cinnamon essential oil, it has been said to be one of the best essential oils to reduce and eliminate cellulite skin. Cinnamon works naturally, detoxifying the body by removing waste and fluids and enhancing blood circulation, which helps to rid cellulite skin. We then have the beautiful lavender essential oil. It helps relieve stress, anxiety, and depression, which are some of the major causes of weight gain and obesity. And lavender oil helps in reducing stress and promotes peaceful sleep, which helps us to relax, sleep, and in the meantime, we don't eat. So we technically will lose weight. And the final one, which is kind of like the meat and potatoes of it all, ginger essential oil. Its detoxifying and digestive properties facilitate the elimination of toxins and boost digestion. Additionally, it eases discomforts associated with the stomach and bowel, including flatulence, diarrhea, spasms, dyspepsia, stomach ache, and colic. It not only gives you healthy and glowing skin, but can also tighten it and fight the various signs of aging. It also reduces swelling. It is a great natural solution for lymphatic drainage and edema. 
Ginger essential oil is well known as soothing and warming and comforts the skin and body. It's an excellent natural massage oil, which relieves pain as well. Widely used for massages and relieving sore muscles. It is well known as a spicy warming oil that comforts. Now, these are all of the essential oils and essential oils for cellulite and edema work best when they are applied to the skin. They should not be used undiluted. That's why we talked about the carrier oils. We want to make sure we mix them with a good carrier oil and use them in our massages and treatments for cellulite. Don't dig into the skin. Don't be aggressive. Just massage regularly. And I will definitely do my best to do some examples in a future video of different massages that I use and also with dry brushing. This oil is extremely good for dry brushing as well. I do have a video, I do believe, on my channel that I can link in the iCards and I'll do my best to link it also in the description box as well. All of the links to the oils I talked about are in the description box and I will also have them in my Amazon store or my Simply Earth link will be available to you wherever I purchased my oils from will be available to you. And the only way to make it happen, beautiful babes, is you gotta move something, either by massaging it, exercising it, or losing it. So this is it. Now I thought about this long and hard, and when I would be just so wrong if I left these few items out. I do use some things that actually have benefits in them, but they do have good smells to them that you can add to this mix because most of all, the ginger is just going to overpower most everything in here, right? But listen, if you take one dropper of orange extract or whatever amount you choose, you're going to get the orange smell, but not only that, you're going to get the vitamins A and C in it that gently exfoliate dead skin cells, refreshes the skin, and protects the skin against aging. Now, I also have mango extract, a dropper full of that. It prevents premature aging of the skin and restores skin elasticity and helps with cellulite. It prevents premature aging of the skin as well, restores softness, as I said, and yes, elasticity. And we want that, right? And also, you can use pure apricot extract, a dropper full of so of this. It is a decongestant that is also an anti-cellulite and a re epithelizing agent. It exhibits good anti-irritation and blood circulation stimulation effects. Or you can also use a dropper full of green coffee extract. This is what they call coffee arabica. It is the enzyme in green coffee oil that helps to break down fat and to smooth puffy areas of the skin. And it may help also reduce the appearance of cellulite. It is readily absorbed in the skin and has an extremely light and silky feel. Now, didn't I treat you right? I did, in fact. And I repeat, no, you don't have to have every last one of these oils. You can make a mixture of any of them at all. Just make sure you use a base oil, which is the carrier oils we talked about at first, and one of the beneficial essential oils. That would be it. Really, two ingredients will do it. But if you got all of them in combination, you're looking at something really powerful, really amazing. That's it. All right, beautiful babes, it's time for you to whip up yours. Now that you know all of the ingredients that you can possibly put in your cellulite oil, please make a day of it. 
enjoy yourself and be sure you let me know if you have whipped up your own anti-cellulite oil this i call mine the ginger cellulite oil but i do that because you know what i smell i smell the ginger of course but anywho this is it y'all take care of yourselves until the next time i see you right here on this screen and until then be safe be sound and stay warm because it's cold in memphis right now i am sweet angel signing out for now like comment subscribe and why don't you do yourself a favor and all of your friends share me with your world i'll see you soon bye